Hello everyone, my name is Seth and welcome to another Discord bot tutorial. In this video, we're going to be going over how to set up our database. And yeah, if you remember the original series, if you watch that one, the database video was 45 minutes long and that was absolutely absurd to watch. I apologize for that. So this new series was basically meant to simplify all the videos I made previously and then hopefully maybe even add some new videos with new content that you guys have been asking for. Um, but for this video, we're going to be working on the database. And uh, before we do that, though, I want to thank you guys so, so much for all the support you've been leaving on my channel and my videos. Recently, we surpassed 500 subscribers, so that's absolutely insane. I appreciate it so, so much, guys. Getting started with our code, if you guys remember where we left off, we actually just finished up making our first command, I believe. So uh, in this video, we're going to jump straight into the database. Um, for that to happen, we're going to need to create a new folder. You can click this new folders icon and name it models. Then in that models folder, we're going to right click it, new file, and type data.js. Okay. In here, we're going to go ahead and add some code of our own. We're going to go ahead and do const mongoose equals require mongoose. Okay. And that off with a semicolon. Then we're going to go const data schema, just like that, equals mongoose.schema. And then we're going to do parentheses, curly braces, enter down. And now in here is where we're going to set up our um, the types of data we want uh, to use with our bot. So we're going to do name. I always like to get the user's name. We're going to set that to a string. We're going to get the user ID. We're going to set that to a string as well. And then, OK, I always like to put a leaderboard because this will help with our leaderboard video once we get to that. And then uh, money, because who doesn't like to add a money system to their bot? We're going to try an XP system. OK, so let's do number. And then we also want our, I may leave the cooldowns for now. Well, no, let's go ahead and do our daily in here. And we're going to set that to a number, just like that. There's one more thing we need to add down here. We need to add module.exports. Uh, equals mongoose dot model and we're gonna call this data comma data schema just like that throw a semicolon there and save it now we are done with this file okay up next we're gonna go ahead and open our terminal and we're gonna do uh, npm install mongoose just like that we're gonna let that install Okay, that's done installing. Next up, we're going to head on over to our database. I'm going to drag it on over. And in here, it should ask you, so you're going to make a MongoDB um, Atlas account. So if you go to Google and we search MongoDB Atlas, I'm going to bring this up. You're going to go to the official site. You're going to sign in. And then when you sign in, it's probably going to ask you to make an organization. Um, you can do that nonetheless if it doesn't ask you to make an organization we're just looking for a new project button and we're going to call this jolteon bot we're going to go ahead and click next and we're just going to create project within this project we're going to click build a cluster we want the free shared cluster so we're going to click create a cluster we want aws um, you can choose any of these uh, i'm going to be going with virginia this is just the server um, so yeah, and then under cluster name, you can go ahead and name it. Um, I'm going to name it Jolteon bot just so I know what this is for. And then I'm going to click create cluster. Okay. It's going to go ahead and set up our cluster. While this is loading, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit about, you know, my background with coding and stuff like that. So I am completely self-taught. Everything I know uh, is completely self-taught. I just started college for software development, so I'm going to be learning a lot of you know really awesome stuff. I'm really excited about it, and uh, yeah. But don't you know I'm not a professional right now, so all these videos you guys have been watching and are watching currently, um, they are not made by a professional. They are by no means meant to be the perfect and correct way to do it. Uh, so I just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, but I really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. Eventually, after you know what felt like a century of waiting, our 
uh, cluster should be done. So we need to go ahead and get a connection string from this. We can do this by clicking connect right here. Uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, allow access from everywhere. Add IP address. Okay, that is done. That was a big problem with the last video, and I apologize for that. We have that figured out now. So go ahead and make sure you add all IP addresses. Okay, and then step two is create a database user. We're going to go ahead and do that. And then make sure you make a password as well. Okay, and then we're going to create database user. It says you'll need your MongoDB user's credentials in the next step. So make sure you don't forget that. Choose a connection method. Uh, we're going to go connect your application. I'm going to choose Node.js 3.6 or later. And then we are going to copy this link. Um, so leave this page up. I'm going to move it over. And we are going to head on over to our bot config file. We're going to throw a comma in here and we're going to create a new uh, term. We're going to call it Mongo Pass. Uh, and then in a string, we're going to paste that in there. So once you take this default password out, put your password in, and then save this file. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button down below and uh, subscribe for more videos.